More on the subject. Retired four-star General Jack Keane with me now. So, General, were you surprised today? We heard President Obama speak. Uh, he was with Secretary Kerry speaking about the Keystone pipeline. I was expecting to hear something about the plane, but is it too early? Well, I think they're probably going to wait uh, for more evidence, but... Uh... You know, you know, clearly what's happening here is, uh, in, in my judgment, this is, this is going to crush Egypt because of their tourist trade, which is their major revenue source. And, and I think we're probably likely facing uh, Putin's most serious blunder of his presidency, because he, he started the war against ISIS. He told the Russian people prior to the airstrikes on 30 September that he was going into Syria largely because of ISIS. That was a false narrative. It was to prop up the Assad regime. But that's what he told his people. And here we have 30 plus days later, he's got 200 dead Russians on his hands and a, an airliner that's been blown up, largely because of the political choices that he made. And now he's got to face his people over this issue. He's going to do everything he can to downplay the facts of this case. So, uh, okay, so you are going to say he's going to miss, yeah, just kind of present it differently or insist that perhaps it's still an accident because he really does not have a history of restraint and, to your point, wants to look like a hero to his people. So it seems like either he has to obfuscate or he's going to attack and hard. Well, I think he, he's probably going to start with the obfuscation first, but what will happen here, there's just too many people around this investigation for the facts not to, be, not to come out. We've already seen by Greg's excellent report here, you know, about the French investigator and what his revelations are. So let's, let's make the assumption all the facts are going to get out. Well, then the, the, the Russian people are going to feel a sense of vulnerability, certainly the 45,000 that are already there do that, and it, Putin will have to respond to that. He is overly sensitive to his people and their confidence in him. He has always feared civil unrest leading to popular uprisings similar to here square in Cairo, Egypt or Damascus, Syria. It's always in the back of his mind when he's dealing with issues that concern the people. It's why he's taken away the media and he's continuously offering false narratives to the Russian people on a regular basis. All right. We're so glad to have you with us. Retired four-star general Jack Keane. Thank you as always.